Worthing FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-2 win over Tunbridge Angels in the National League South. Adam, been a few week wait for this game after it was rearranged. Do you reckon it was worth the wait? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was, thought it was a great game to be fair. Um, I thought we played with lots of quality first half. Um, probably should have made the, the game a little bit more uh, comfortable in that first half. Um, you know, three runs, a bit of a tricky scoreline. Uh, obviously, the next goal then becomes really important, but um, I don't think they threatened too much first half. Uh, they had a um, bit of a change to the, how they went about things second half, pressed us a bit high, and I thought we was really brave and, and played through that really well at times. Um, but yeah, the, the, the fourth goal just, just wouldn't come, um, and then sort of had a bit of a a run of corners and got a late one which we're disappointed with the, the two goals that we conceded really um, but all in all I think you know we've got to be relatively pleased with you know another game we've got uh, three goals again we've got four on Saturday so there's lots of good stuff um, to be pleased with um, but yeah just want to shore up on one or two things defensively as well. At first half in particular aside from the goal which was a little bit against run of play it felt it was an excellent performance overall three goals rapid succession uh, you've had to be happy with that first half performance to come out of blocks like that. No, yeah, I thought so. I thought um, there's some really good play, exciting play, and that's what we want. Uh, sort of been accustomed to over the years here, um, and you know I've heard the groans and frustrations within the the fans that that's not happened on a regular basis this year. So it was nice to to bring some of that back um, tonight. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's been, it's been some good stuff Saturday as well, so it's been some good passages in, in a lot of games, um, but I'm just pleased now that we're getting some wins for the performances, because um, I think early on maybe some of these um, performances that we played well, we just didn't get the win and we draw too many games, but you know, it's now nice to get some goals with it, um, and obviously get some wins is... is is really pleasing. Another man of the match display for Josh Chambers tonight, uh, including a free kick, uh, an excellent free kick. Nice to have a set piece taker again. What did you make of his performance today? No, oh, yeah, I think all the games he's played so far has been excellent. Um, like I said in that first game, um, he wants the ball um, in tight areas. I thought he picked up some space in between the midfield and their defence um, really well. There's a couple of Loose ones where he just overhit his pass, um, which which we look at with him. But all in all, um, you know I think it's been an excellent addition along with Mo. Added a bit more uh, quality to that midfield, um, which we've been uh, crying out for, in my opinion. So it's really pleased that they're both come and enjoying their football and, and playing so well. Um, and yeah, nice for Josh's family. That he's got another bottle of champagne just for Christmas. How's it looking for the pair of them potentially if they're, if they're staying on a little bit longer? Yeah, um, obviously Josh is done Saturday, so we we'll have to phone up um, yeah, the pals at Gillingham and try and beg for him to, to stay a little bit longer. But um, you know, if he doesn't, then you know it, it served this purpose, served this purpose for us, served its purpose for him. Hopefully, he's got some game time, and I'm sure he's been enjoying his football. Um, so. Yeah, we're hopeful that it'll be extended. Obviously, both Mo's a little bit longer. They run up until the new year. Um, so, you know, it's, it's good to get them secure. But yeah, how well Josh has been playing, we definitely like to keep and, and see some more with him and, and work a bit more with him. Looking elsewhere on the pitch, was there any performances that particularly stood out for you that really impressed you tonight? No, I just think like the depth of the squad at the moment is is really healthy and like compliments to to Sam, the physio. You know, we've got Lewis White and JB chucked back in today. Um, JB's got 90 minutes. Um, Joel come back recently. Um, he's got uh, two 90 minutes consecutively under his belt now as well. And um, just think the depth of the squad. Um, no Dan Barry, no Comrade tonight. Um, you know, it's a real, real healthy squad at the moment, and uh, you know, when you get your opportunity, you've got to take it. And um, you know, that's that's what you want. Any any good successful team wants that, and uh, you know, it, it bodes well. So, yeah, just the, the depth of the squad now with with the returning players. And to add to that, no Ollie Pierce or Ruben Austin tonight with uh, the illness. How are these guys looking? Do you reckon it's just a little bit, a little bit under weather at the moment, and maybe ready for Saturday? No, yeah, Oli was keen to come, obviously, after his couple of goals at the weekend, um, but just been being sick all day and we didn't want any 
virus or bugs coming into the change room. Um, so, you know, I think it's the right call from Sam to, to keep Holly away. And, and Ruben's been struggling a bit really with tonsillitis. Um, you know, affected him a bit late on in games and, you know, certainly on his recovery. So, Saturday, Tuesday, I always thought it might be a bit too much for him. But, um, no, yeah, hopeful that them two be available as well. Um, Adam Adam and Mo Jamo might look to get out to get some minutes somewhere. Um, they need to play and get some regular 90 minutes under their belt then too. Um, so like I say, the, the squad's in a, a good place at the moment and um, yes, yeah, some really difficult decisions to, to, to be made in, in the upcoming weeks.